This right here is the Arzen Zip portable projector. It's one of the coolest projectors I've ever owned. It's awesome. So I wanted to give you guys a complete breakdown of this projector, what it can do, some of the features that it has, and then I'll give you guys my review at the end, just in case you're thinking about getting it. So first off, what's really cool about this projector is just the size of it. I mean, you can see right here, literally fits in your hand. You can fit it in your pocket. It's called the Zip Fold because it actually folds. It has three different folding, um, three different panels right here that fold down and it actually magnetically closes. So if you can hear it, it magnetically closes so that way it's not gonna open up super easy super easily, which is nice. And what's really cool about this projector is that it's completely portable. So it actually has its own internal 5,000 milliamp battery, which allows it to be able to completely run the projector all on its own without even having to plug in any cables, which is which is the first projector I've ever had that has that feature because most of them you have to plug in. Here it is up close just so you guys can see it. Pretty awesome looking. What's nice is yeah, you can just set it down like this and you can adjust the angles and it's not gonna fall down or anything like that. You can adjust this one. And it has a lot of you know strength in these joints right here that allows you to basically you know adjust it to pretty much any angle you want, which is also really nice for the projector. As far as the projector goes, the screen has 720p resolution, but it can support up to 4K viewing. So not, you know, it's not a 4K projector or anything like that, 720p, but I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a second. I think the screen quality is great, especially for how portable this is. And I feel like for projectors, you don't really need 4K in my opinion, especially with a portable projector like this one. But as far as what comes with it, you get the projector itself, you actually get a charging cable. This actually charges up with type C charging. So you just plug it in type C right here. It takes a couple hours to charge. And then it also comes with the manual right here, but super easy to set up. Like I said, you don't need to be plugging this in for it to actually work. And then up here on the top of the projector, you actually have your control panel right here. They have touchscreen buttons. So you have your okay button, you have your kind of like focus button right here, and then you can go through your different settings. You can go back right here as well. You also have your volume button right here, and then you have your on button right here. So I'll show you guys, I'll turn this thing on right here. You just hold it down for like three seconds. And once you hold it down, you'll see these lights turn on and you'll see the projector actually start to turn on. And boom, look at that. The projector is already on. Let me move it back so you guys can see. Pretty sweet. When you first turn it on, it's just going to, you know, bring up the main screen right here. And to actually connect this device or to actually start watching movies with this, all you have to do is just screen mirror your devices. So whether you have a tablet, your phone, all you have to do is just screen mirror it. And that's how you connect your devices, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Or another thing you can do is you can actually get this dongle. This is by Arzen as well. And this dongle actually has HDMI. So some things won't be supported just by screen mirroring. You know, like if you screen mirror your tablet, it might not have 4K viewing on that. And so, you know, on some stream serv streaming service and stuff like that. And so you can actually get this right here and you can plug in like a docking system like this, which I'll show you guys here in a second into your tablet. And then with that, you can actually watch, you know, the 4K shows and stuff like that with this. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it's super simple. All you do is you just go on your device. I'll show right here this tablet and you go over to screen mirroring and then you'll actually see it pop up, show more and you'll see the zip right there pop up. So you just click on that and then it's going to pair. And as you can see right here, it's literally screen mirroring my tablet right here. So I can move, move left, right like this and it's going to screen mirror you know, everything on my tablet that's on the screen. And as you can see right here, as I move closer, the screen gets smaller. As I move further away, it gets wider. So pretty much, you know, you can have a really big screen if you want, or you can have a smaller screen. It's gonna look a lot clearer with the smaller screen, but it still looks pretty clear with the bigger screen as well, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. One thing I also wanted to mention is that it does have its own internal speakers as well on the sides right here, and they actually sound really well. Unfortunately, in this video, I can't play the sound just because they don't allow it but it does have great sound as well. Um, but you could connect, you know, an external speaker as well if you wanted to. Now, if you didn't want to connect a dongle like this, depending on what you're watching it on, all you do is when you first open up the projector or turn it on, you just click this okay button right here. And when you do that, it's actually gonna open up this setting right here. And all you do is you use the arrows right here to go down to air link pairing. You click okay, confirm and then it'll actually be able to connect to this dongle as well and it'll screen mirror, which you'll see here in a second. And once you do that, it'll say pairing, pairing okay, and then boom, it'll connect your screen that you have, which right now I don't have a movie on. So I'm gonna play a movie and let's see what happens. 
I'm gonna play this movie on my tablet right here. And once I start playing the movie, it's going to actually show up like this and boom, now you can see I'm watching this on a streaming service on Netflix right here. And I can watch a movie even though it's a 4K movie. I think it's a 4K movie, but as you can see, it's super clear. I mean, the quality is really nice. I'll show you guys what it looks like from further away, but it's really nice when it's close up like this and the dongle works really well. It's very responsive. As you can see, I'm connected, boom, and now I'm able to watch the movie right here. One thing I wanted to mention as well, one thing about this projector is it does have uh, this button right here, which this actually allows you to adjust the brightness. So there's actually two different settings. So you have this setting right here that's bright, and then you have this setting right here that's less bright. So it's gonna heat up a lot faster, and there's gonna be like some fan noise if you actually use the top brightening, brightening mode, which I do always recommend using the top brightening mode just because it looks a lot better. But as you guys can see right here, you can kind of hear it and then I don't know if you guys can hear that difference, but the fans definitely pick up and it definitely heats up a lot faster. So that's something to mention, but there are two different brightening modes, which is pretty cool. All right. Now I just wanted to show you guys if you did have the screen a little bit further away, sorry, it's a little bit dirty in front. You know, there's some stuff on the table right there, but as you can see, it still, you know, feels very clear and it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So super clear, especially in the dark. I will say if it is light outside, um, you, you don't see the screen very well unless it's pretty close. But if it is dark, like you're in a dark room like this, you can put it from far away and the screen remains very clear. Super nice in my opinion. I don't know if you guys can tell, but super clear from what I'm seeing right here. All right, and the last thing I wanted to go over was actually the runtime on this thing if you didn't plug it in. So you could plug it in and basically just be able to run it for however long you want with continuous power. But if you are just running this thing on by itself, it's supposed to last about an hour and a half. I want to say that's with the low light setting though. Uh, if you have the highlight setting, I think it'll be a little bit less than that. I've tested this and I would say it's more like an hour, more like an hour straight um, when you do have that high mode. Maybe more or less, I'm not sure depending on what you're watching, but I would say about an hour. If you're on the low light mode, you could probably go an hour and a half for sure. Uh, I would say if you're on the low light mode, then yeah, an hour and a half is probably a good, um, a good call for that. But if you're on the highlight mode, I would say probably about an hour, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But overall, as far as my review goes, I think it's an awesome projector. Honestly, it's probably the coolest projector I've ever had, I've ever used because it's just completely portable. I mean, it's so small. It's the perfect travel projector. Uh, if you're camping, things like that, and you want to watch a movie or you're road tripping, um, and yeah, you just want to watch a movie on the go, wherever you are, hotel room, anything, you know, this is going to be such an easy way to be able to, you know, watch movies or TV shows wherever you are on a big screen. And it's just super portable. And I really like that it is just completely, you know, you don't need any cable or anything. You don't have to plug this thing in, which I think is awesome. I've never seen a portable projector, portable projector like this. Um, and yeah, it's pretty fast to charge it up as well. So if you guys are looking for a nice portable projector, definitely recommend checking this one out. Like I said, it's an awesome projector. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.